Welcome to the TickMill Update. I'm Kenna Danielle, the founder of the Investiva Movement. On Thursday, the majority of the U.S. political news revolved around Trump's impeachment. But we also found out that Philadelphia's Fed manufacturing index slumped in December to the lowest reading in six months. The U.S. current account deficit, a measure of the nation's trade and financial flows with other countries, narrowed slightly in the third quarter, and the U.S. home sales tumbled 1.7 percent in November. But on the bright side, the U.S. labor market remained on solid ground. In the U.K., the Bank of England kept interest rates steady, saying it was too soon to gauge how much Prime Minister Boris Johnson's election victory would lift the Brexit uncertainty that has hung over the economy. On Friday, we have the U.S. GDP as the main event. Today, I'm looking at the pound-dollar pair, which has been on a sharp decline in the past couple of days, with the pair still remaining afloat above the daily Ichimoku cloud on the four-hour chart. It's already broken below the Ichimoku cloud and approaching the 38% Fibonacci tracement level of 1.29. If the U.S. GDP disappoints on Friday, we could see a temporary correction towards 1.31, but the general sentiment appears to be bearish and might remain bearish at least for the remaining of the year. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the TickMill YouTube channel. I will get back to you with more updates next week.